Hey LEGO fans, it's Mike the Bricks Nerd, and today I've got one of the Star Wars sets to review. It's number 75005, Rancor Pit. Comes with 380 pieces. You get one big fig, the Rancor, and then three minifigs. Luke Skywalker, Malakili, and the Gamorrean Guard. And this set costs about $60 US. Okay, so let's unbox it and see what's inside. Okay, so we get one, two, three, four numbered packs. You also get a pack that has the gate and a few other pieces in it. You get a pack with the Rancor and then the instructions. Okay, to see the set being built, check out the speed build video. And there's the built set. Now let's take a look at the details. Here's the Rancor pit. You've got the gate that opens up, a bar here that will lock it into place. Uh, and then you can just pull the bar out to slam it down on top of the Rancor. Over on this side, got a pitchfork, a key, a bucket. You also got the gated door. The container over here with a piece of chicken. Uh, the whole back side and everything's all open. Um, so there's no like enclosed walls. The only thing that kind of encloses it is the gate itself. You've got a compartment here, which has another key and also a small bone. Over on this side, you've got a hidden compartment, um, which I think this is supposed to kind of be equivalent of when Luke hid in that little cave section. Um, so I think this is supposed to be for him to hide in there. The front of this does open. So you can pull this open and have easier access to the inside um, or just have a bigger area to play in uh, because the the inside of this really is not big. I mean it's big enough just to fit the Rancor in and that's it. Um, so it gives you a chance to open this up and then you have more access to play on the inside. This comes as a stackable piece so you have the Rancor pit down here, and then if you have Jabba's Palace, you can stick it right on top and have one big complete piece there. Uh, but what I did notice right away is once you do that, you no longer have access to opening the gate uh, because the palace sits on top of the gate opening. So what you have to do is pull this section open so you do have access to opening the gate. And then you also have the working function of in Java's palace. Got Luke Skywalker up there. Pull the opening and down he falls into the pit. And here is the Rancor. He's got the chain on the wrist over here. He's got posable arms so you can raise him, lower him. He's also got Top two fingers will move, and you have bendable wrists, so you can actually clutch a minifigure in his hands. You've got the jaw that opens and closes. You also have the bone that comes with Luke Skywalker that you're supposed to, if you know, if you're paying attention to the movie, put it in the Rancor's mouth, and it's supposed to lodge in there but as you can tell uh, the bones just way too long to fit in his mouth um, so it's almost kind of a wasted piece there you can put a minifigure in the Rancor's mouth all the way and then close the jaw so that's pretty neat it has that feature there and now we'll take a look at the minifigures this is Luke Skywalker um, he does come with that really long bone there. He does have the double-sided face. Here's the Gamorrean guard you get. Uh, it's the same one that comes in Jabba's palace. Here is Malakili. Comes with the hood. And then he does have the double-sided face. And then last, we also get one of the skeletons. 
Okay, so I do like this set, even though it does have a few flaws in it. Um, the best part of this set is the Rancor himself. Really nicely detailed. You've got movement in the arms, the fingers, the mouth opens up, and the fact that you can put a minifigure all the way inside and close his mouth, that's really neat. Um, he's definitely the highlight of this set. You also get the other uh, minifigures, which are you know part of this scene in the movie with Luke Skywalker, the Gamorrean Guard, and Malakili, the Rancor Keeper. Um, nice to get Malakili in a set. Uh, and, you know, perfect set. He wasn't a big character, obviously. Very small, you know, scene in the movie, but this is kind of all wrapped around him and the Rancor. Um, one thing, like I showed you guys, that's really disappointing is the bone um, that Luke Skywalker has does not fit in the Rancor's mouth. I don't know why Lego failed that. Wouldn't have been that hard just to make the proper bone to where you put it in there, close his mouth a little, and, you know, there you've got the bone in the Rancor's mouth. You got the bone, you can't even use it for what it's supposed to be. Um, so that's kind of a disappointment there. Um, also, when you put Jabba's Palace on top, the way it's supposed to be, um, you can't open the gate. So when it's sitting on top there and you try to open the gate, you can't, just because the way it is. Um, what you have to do is open the little section, and if you open it enough, then you have access to opening the gate. Now, on the inside of this, there's not much room to move around to play or anything. It's very tight in there, uh, so you can't really do the get the Rancor moved around a lot. So you kind of have to open this section to give yourself more room to move around and you know play on the inside. Um, I did modify my... Um, well, I guess I modified the pit. I did my own personal thing because, to me, I liked it. I'm going to use this as a display piece. Um, so, you know, if you guys want to see what I did, I guess let me know and maybe I'll shoot a small video. Uh, but I essentially just, I turned it this way to have the gate facing at me. Um, and then I put Jabba's Palace on top and took a few pieces off. And what that does, the way I put it on, it still allows me to open the gate with Jabba's Palace on top. Um, you know, not without having to open the section, the door kind of thing. Because um, I'm going to have this display this way. And to me, it personally just looks better. Uh, so, yeah, I, I guess if you guys want to see how I modified this, let me know. And I'll, I'll shoot a small video. Um, you know, this was a $60 set. It's a little pricey for what you get because the pit is so very simple. There's not a whole lot that went into it. Uh, but I guess you do get the Rancor. Yeah, I guess it's justified. <laughs> but like I always say, look for sales. You can always get these sets cheaper. Um, I got mine much cheaper than $60. Um, also, you get a brick separator in this. Always, You can never have enough brick separators. Um, so yeah, it's a really cool set. I'm glad that you, you have a set where you can take another set, combine the two, and really make a nice big display piece um, with Jabba's Palace and the pit. Um, so that's kind of a, a definite thumbs up for me, is being able to combine the two sets. So, you know, all in all, it is a decent set. A few failures on Lego's end. Um, but, you know, I guess nothing major. Uh, so leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the pit. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next build.